What's up guys? I either sent this video to you or you stumbled upon it because you're trying to learn how to pull the slack out of the bar, okay? I say that to my clients all the time, pull the slack out, but what does that actually mean? A lot of people think it's just yanking the barbell, okay? We're just yanking the barbell up, up before we lift here, um, thus pulling the slack, slack out. But it's actually not just yanking or pulling the bar up, although it is kind of pulling the bar up, it's actually kind of something you feel, something you let drop, creating tension um, throughout the whole lift so there's no slack that can slow you down. So, we're gonna go up to the barbell and to pull the slack out, it's all about creating tension. So we're screwing through the ground, sticking your butt out, feeling those hamstrings fire, wrapping the bar, sitting back, and when you'll notice if I'm doing three regular deadlift and not pull the slack of the bar, there'll be a clink before I pull. What we're trying to do is get rid of that clink. We want silence. So, you're gonna come here, you're gonna squeeze the barbell like you're bending the bar and trying to hide your armpits here. So we're squeezing, locking in, and pulling up slightly, sitting back, so you already have that little clink, okay? From there, I'm squeezing really hard. This is a really hard position to maintain. And then I'm gonna push the ground away and stand up. Now, if this was a deadlift bar, you might even see, if there's a lot of weight on it, see the bar bend a little bit as I pull the slack out. And a lot of people think that the goal is just to squeeze the slack out and float the bar. Um, it's not so much pulling up enough to float the bar, but it's about pulling that slack out and get a little doop and feeling that right position. So as soon as you push, the bar is going up. Now, if I don't pull the slack out, I'm just gonna go. And it's gonna make the movement a lot, lot harder there. Um, so yeah, you wanna make sure that when you're excited for the deadlift, you have tension and before you even start pulling, you're really, really squeezing and trying to keep as much tension as possible, but also getting rid of that little clink right here. Welcome back to the series. Today we are working on bench press. We're gonna go over.